It is almost lunchtime. Well, actually it's only mid morning, but I am super hungry. My stomach is growling. And so we're going to do a cheese tasting. Today we're going to do the, the Asiago, my hundredth cheese that I forgot to brine. I had put the olive oil and the rosemary on the outside and I had backpacked it and then the next day I realized I never added any salt. It's the one I filmed so you can go back and see it. And I took it out of the bag and I added a whole bunch more salt, seven tablespoons, left it out at room temperature for I don't know a week, I forget, and then put it in the cheese cave. So all the salt has, I'll show you upstairs, it's too dark down here. I also had made a rosemary, olive oil, rosemary, asiago like a few weeks before that and I've already cut into that one so I'm going to bring this one up so you can see one that was properly brined and then the one that was like later brined or later salted. It is 6, 20, 7, 8, 9. This is three months old. I'm so excited about this one. Oh, it smells fabulous. I wish you could smell it. Oh my goodness, I'm getting oil on my face. Rosemary and olive oil, maybe something a little bit buttery. It's really good. I get it, paper towel. It's a pretty hard cheese, I think. There's no salt in the bag, y'all. The salt has been incorporated. There's nothing there. It's beautiful. Oh my goodness, it's hard. Pretty smooth. Are we ready for the taste test? Bends and then snaps. It's fantastic. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh wow. Oh, it's delicious. It is. Okay. I'll try to, I'll try to, I'll try to convey what this is. There's a toothsomeness to it. It's kind of, it's almost soft, but it's chewy and it's, there's an elasticity to it. It's not rubbery at all, but it's not soft, but it's not hard. So it's kind of like, it's good. The texture is kind of, it gets creamy in your mouth. The salt level is excellent. It tastes really good. It has a buttery taste to it. It's not strong. I mean, the, the flavor of the cheese, there's no funkiness at all. It is not a strong cheese. It is a little bit buttery and light with the rosemary and the, and the olive oil. Oh, it's good. It feels almost like, almost nutty. I mean, it's not a nutty cheese. Oh, it's so good. It is so good. There's a little bit of a rind on it, like a little bit hard as you get to the edge. It kind of reminds me of the texture of a Parmesan rind, like that little bit of a dense, hard chewness to it. So good, so good, so good, so good. Okay, I'm gonna open this one and eat it. Actually, I don't need to open this one. I have some in the fridge. I'm gonna taste it side by side. I lied, my husband ate it all. So I'll have to open this after all. So this one now is four months old. And you can see the oil in the pack. And this one was a much higher cheese. I think I made the same quantity. This one was seven and a half gallons of milk and the one before was seven and a half gallons of milk. They were both cultured with yogurt, rennet, same things. It does not say that this one had calcium chloride. This one did though. Okay, so this is the other one and it, it, it feels softer, much softer. Okay, so this is the four month old. It's not as hard, it's a softer paste. This is the harder one. 
Mm -hmm. They're both excellent. The one that was dry brined in the bag is a bit, is harder. And the older one, the one that was properly brined as you're supposed to is softer. They're both excellent cheeses, excellent, excellent cheeses. This one is almost, it feels a little bit more like a Parmesan to me. It makes me wonder if what will happen in a year or two years if I wait that long. But this combination of rosemary and olive oil is a really good one. It does not overpower, but it just adds some interest to it. And I love rosemary. Rosemary should be a perfume. It's, it's so good. Yeah, it's definitely more Parmesan-y. Well, there you go. That's the Rosemary Asiago, my hundredth cheese. It was not a flop. I saved it, which goes to show that you can salvage a lot of things with cheese. I'm getting kind of hooked on Asiago. That's a good one. Get the bits of rosemary. Mm. Such a good food. Mm.